Welcome back to our channel, Bertie Bus. The one and only YouTube channel. <laughs> I finally got to say it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just off to Whitehaven. We are going there. How far are we? Six or seven one. miles to Whitehaven. No, that's to Water Tap, John. Oh. M6. It's not 67 miles to Whitehaven. No, it's about 110 miles to Whitehaven. That's oh. just a stop off. Stop off for water. For water. Where's water tap? It's on M6. Yeah, no, but what's it attached to water? <laughs> must be a point. Where, <laughs> where a garage. Or a garage. So. What sort of garage? Just like a petrol garage. A petrol garage. They've got a water tap. Where yeah. have you found that? Have you found that? Go on. Explain how you find ah. it. Part for night is got on part for night. There's these little symbols, the purple, and the uh, um, uh, places where you can fill up your gas, um, laundry stations, all water taps. So you just click on them, and it's either going to be one of those three. Well, there that, you go. That, yeah, yeah, on search for sites, that's where I get my water tap from. That's where but, we're heading then. But most garages have got them anyway, they're not all on there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you. Miss Navigator. <laughs> yeah, so come on, driver. Come on, Captain. Uh, we're trying to avoid Lake District, aren't we? Yeah. There's a couple of ways you can get to Whitehaven. One, you can cut through Lake District, you go past Lake Windermere and all little lakes and all the bad roads. So we're not so going that what way. Are we doing that? We're going straight up the M6, stick into the main road. So I've planned it all out for you, John. So what can go wrong, eh? We'll see, shall we? Come on, <laughs> let's go. Sun's out at least. Yeah. Blackpool Tower. Yeah, and just see it. There's like Pleasure Beach down there. Have you um, got some of my pop? Yeah. Why is it, right, whatever I have, do you have some of it? You, you give me half a can of pop, one ounce of a can of pop, because you've drunk half of it before you even give it me. You go for a piece of cake in coffee shop and it comes back, instead of being a piece of cake, it comes back being three quarters of a piece of cake, because you've helped yourself to it on the way from bloody cafe to the table. You, got, you asked me for one fish and chips to see from, and you bring me half a fish and half a chips because you've had other half. Is it me? Yeah. Like if, I want, if I wanted half a can of pop, I'd ask for half a can of pop. If I wanted three quarters of a piece of cake, I'd say, I'll, I'll just have three, three I don't want a piece of cake, so either you just ask me for, I'll just have three quarters of it, look. Do you want a piece of cake? Get yourself a piece of cake. Yeah. Stop taking mine. I, Do you I, want a drink? Get yourself a can of pop. Do you know if you want fish and chips? Get yourself some fish and chips. I'll test Stop. it for you. But you took a bit of mine. You know what I mean? I'm I, I swear to God, I have yet to have anything, anything that's not being tested first. <laughs> I mean, anything. That's what I mean. Don't want you to poison you or anything. You know, I'm doing you a favour. There's only coffee that you don't take half of. And that's because you don't have that particular coffee. You've got to have your own bloody whatever it is. I mean, coffee party. machine. You guys say, was your partner say, do they take on for everything you've got? Is it just me? I'd like to say, make sure it's alright for you. <laughs> no, the case is because I can't eat a full piece of cake. Oh, no. But I can, <laughs> I can Zoe, but I never get a bloody chance, do I? I don't want to try it, you know what I mean? I just like to taste it. I'm a bit of a, like, I don't like full meals, I'm a bit of a grazer. Well, neither do I, I never get a full meal neither, look, funnily <laughs> enough. It's funny that. <laughs>
sure we are looking, but I think that's Basin Way Lake. It's just like a racetrack. Only if we're in a race car, my love. <laughs> Not a big bus. Western Lake District. Just pulled up at SO Garage here on way to uh, Whitehaven. We're only about half an hour from Whitehaven and they've very kindly let us pull up here and use their water tap, which is on the side here. I'll just show you where it is. The water tap's there, so we've just filled it with water. We did ring around first to make sure they got some. Two or three garages said they ain't got any water, but SO did, so we've just filled up 100% of water now. I'm going to ask a bit of a dumb question now. So, when we was, when we was in France, uh, we did use some of our bottle gas, as you know if you've been following us vlogs, and I've emptied a six kilogram propane bottle. Um, I do have a, another one, a bigger one. Is it 12 or 13 kilogram? That's full. So, now I've never changed a bottle before. Um, and I'll, I'll ask a question. Do you just buy one of these and then you just swap it over? Do you know what I mean? Do you just take the empty one out of your van and then just take a full one? But how do you know these are full? Is my next question. You just swap them over. I'm not sure what you do. Never done it before. This is where my gas bottles are in here. So I've got the uh, small six kilogram one. And then I've got the big one at the back there. So it's uh, it's this one that's that's empty. So I'm presuming I've just got to swap it over. I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. You know when you've done with Bruce. <laughs> how much work? How much was six kilogram bottle? Uh, Forty nine ninety nine. How much? I know. I'm not buying bottle. No. It's only gas I want. Yeah, but it's just one price. It, even if you trade the bottle in, it's still that price. 50 quid? Yeah. For six, six kilogram? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, just oh. us. Seems a lot. Yeah. Anyway, we'll leave that for now. Yeah. What about the bigger one then? Is it the same price? I didn't ask for a bigger one. You just said six? Yeah. No. Never had to buy a bottle before. Didn't yeah. rouse it with that much. So we've just parked up in Whitehaven, another car park. We looked online and it was it was eight pound twenty four hours. We've got here and in the time we've looked online to get in here, because of inflation, it's now twelve pound for twenty four hours. It's gone up four pound in this time it's taken us to get here for whatever reason. Twelve quid. It's not a right nice car park, yeah. is it, Eva? It's just a gravel, what we'll show you, it's a gravel car park. Now, is it me, is, is just everything getting stupid with money. Again, no facilities or anything like that. It's just a car park, 12 quid, 24 hours. I remember two years ago when we had Adria, Ooh. we were paying £15 for a CL site with hookup. Oh, no. And now you're paying 12 quid just to put it in a car park. Mm. It's just um, really expensive. I, I could have found somewhere else, but you're dead enough for driving, aren't you? Yeah, so uh, we'll wait and see what Scotland's like for parking. Uh, I don't mind paying the money, guys, but I hate to be ripped off. So we are we are going to go for a wander. It looks, uh, it, we're not right impressed with it so far, but it might be nice down up front. We're going to have a look, aren't we? Uh, check it out, aren't we? Because we've not seen it front yet, so it might be really nice down there. So we'll go and uh, check it out, and we'll show you where we're parked. Are we going to go for a walk? Yeah, we'll get ready. Yeah. See if there's a B-E-A-C-H here. Yeah. B-E-A-C-H? Yeah. And S-E-A. We're going to take that B A L L. There's no way there's a B E A C H here. I can't see one. And a pub. And a pub. Here. Is there? Can you see one, Bodie? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm just 
uh, getting ready. I've got me what gun fuck dogs and um, I just need my bag. Got mine. Oh, 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 shoot it all. Got this fuck oh. dogs on you. Oh, you behave. Oh. Mm, Millie. Tell her, Millie. Tell her. It's down here in my bag. Uh, always got mine. No, don't shoot me. Uh. And this is car park we're in. Just a, a gravelled car park. There's an Asda there. We've got an Aldi, I guess. But Elm bargains there. Back at Elm bargains there and motorhomes there. But yeah, fifteen quid. What is it? No, not so fifteen. It's twelve. Oh, it's a bargain then. Twelve <laughs> quid. <laughs> I wonder if we could have parked in Aldi car park. And here it is, Preston Street. Location code eight five seven nine. Yeah, you got to pay by app uh, because these are taped up. Yeah. You can't stay there, love. It's two hour max stay, home bargains. And that's an hour and a half max stay, Iceland. Oh, they've got this well covered, haven't they? Yeah. It's a nice harbour. It's lovely. Swans. It's quite nice. It is. I can't say I'm uh, novelly impressed with place. Feeling it. No. We've not filmed much guys walking in because it's just a load of rundown shops. It's, they say it's in Lake District area. Cumbria. It's not like it's not like Keswick, is it? Do no, you know I mean? Keswick's lovely. I just thought it'd be nice to visit, to see what it's like. It's a little. Yeah. It's nice around this bit, but it looks a little bit like rundown, doesn't it, in town? Yeah, but there's not. There's not a lot down down here. No. Is there? Unless I'm missing something here. There's uh, Witherspoons down there. Yeah, we can't take dogs in can't there. Can't take dogs in it. On the Tesco's, there's a lot of supermarkets around here. I think uh, this is end. Yeah. I wonder what that was then. But it's all fish. Oh yeah, it is. So just it? You see it? it? Yeah. And not until you look close up at it. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Let's have a walk back and see if we can find some shops or something. Yeah, we'll walk back down that back way. Back down that way, yeah. down back. It's just arbor up front really, isn't it? I yeah. can't see anything else. I think we're mm. missing something here somewhere. Do you think there's somewhere else here? <laughs> well, it's just a harbour, isn't it? Yeah. We've seen these little fish in floor. Little metal plates. Looks like fish as you walk down. Oh, yeah. You seen them? Yeah. They're pretty what neat, that's aren't they? They're like, I don't know if you can see them, guys. Oh, I don't like that. Little fish engraved in the door way down. Look at you being observant. Hmm. <laughs> Another one there, look. Yeah, they're all down here. They're all down here. Right, good. Down that here. Looks, uh, Old building, whatever that is. Looks really old. Baths, you used to be swimming baths. Yeah. Don't say anything else. There's a lot of work going on with these buildings. It's not feeling it here at all, Zoe. I think it's a late shift, all if I'm honest. Mm. And I'm not being snobby or old, but it's just, it's Don't horrible like it here. It's horrible. Either. They say it's in the late district. Yeah, I know. There's litter right, everywhere. Right, disappointed. There's gangs of crowds of lads everywhere. No. I don't like it. Zoe's so just getting some fish and chips. So um, we'll see if we can find a quiet pub somewhere, I think. As she says, it's not one far from where we're parked up, the way we might be a bit quieter. It's a bit uh, noisy at this end. So uh, we'll see. Lovely. That bar in front looks nice. That Anna's. Yeah, it does. Cocktail, cocktail bar, though, isn't it? It's, uh... Yeah, it's just that street before <coughs> it. it looks a bit rough. He just wants a hell of a lot of money spending on this place. <sighs> there's a beach somewhere here. Yeah. There's a beach somewhere. 
I mean, the people are lovely. They are friendly. Yeah, they are. I say hello. Well, we just had some nice fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips were lovely. Really enjoyed them. Right, nice. Some more <clears> trails <throat> parked there on front. He's on a bit of a lean, that rapido. Well. Yeah. So you're walking the dogs nicely, aren't you, love? Yeah, look how nicely they're walking. They're right, good together. Yeah, yeah. look, look. They're oh, walking good. lovely together. Lovely. But right, Bruce nice. has been good, he's not barking. And me and you are walking lovely together, aren't we, love? <laughs> Everybody's walking lovely together. <laughs> yeah. Aren't we, love? We're walking lovely. Everything's lovely. <laughs> Walking down the harbour front, being all lovely. <laughs> Aren't we? Yeah. I'm looking for a pub now. Go on, dear. Hmm. I'll be suited in there, won't I? It looks a bit small, that one. Yeah. And we've got three dogs. I know. Four minutes away. What, the pub? Yeah. Do they let dogs in? Uh, it doesn't say. Whoa. Doesn't say. <laughs> we found a pub. Anyway, but uh, this is novel. Uh, it's a made out of duct tape. Um, a black white duct tape. Housewife, please. That's good. Says <laughs> the upholstery, I suppose. Yes! <laughs> I haven't seen Bodie anywhere, have you, love? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know where, where Bodie is at all. He's, he's not on pub seat at all. Come here, Mum. He's not, he's not here at all. Anyway, we've left that pub now. Because somebody put window through. So it's a good job nobody was sat there, but somebody outside chucked a brick through a window or something and glass has gone everywhere. God, I certainly won't be coming back here again, no, love. I can't wait. We'll Whoa. Ready, Alice. Sir. It's a rough area, this place, isn't it? Look, where yeah. you brought me. To say it's not that far from Keswick. I know. To say it's in Lake District, you think it'd be really nice. Wow. You don't navigate <laughs> him from now on. We need, we need to get out of here, love, I think. We'll get out of here. Motron's going to be alright. I know. But I wouldn't recommend this place, guys. If I'm honest, mm -hmm. it's uh, unless you've been before and you thought it was really nice. It's either that it's gone really downhill or something. I don't know, mm -hmm. but uh, there's just gangs everywhere. So uh, I'm anyway, not right tonight. Mm. Anyway, it's the first time I've ever been scared, and I am now. So, how are you feeling, love? Scared. This is the first time I've ever been scared. It's one of the worst places we've been to, if I'm yeah. honest. It's, um, I had a bad vibe for it when we got here. I don't know if you picked up any earlier in the vlog, I just weren't, I weren't feeling it. I said didn't I? not feeling this place at all. Hmm. Oh, it should always go with my vibes. Well, I did want to move. Just that the fact there's no other motor homes here, guys. There's only us here. So, um, I think everybody else just drives past there and you know, something we don't. But we've learnt, haven't we? Mm, we won't yeah. we won't come back here again no. in a rush. Definitely not. <laughs> so we wanted to move on tonight, but I've had four pints, so I says I can't drive anywhere. That's it, we're stuck here. So we are in this car park all on our own. And uh, there's just these gangs of lads roaming around, so anyway, just hope we're gonna be alright tonight, eh? Mm. And uh, we'll get off uh, first thing in the morning. Yeah, we'll get off in the morning after some breakfast and we'll um, mm. drive up Scotland, I think, and just get away from here. Yeah, won't we? a three and a half hour drive, but we just need to move away. And we've stayed in Keswick before, and Keswick's a lovely place. I know, it's not that far away from here. Wow, what a difference. I know. It is here. Everything's just so run down. I, did, I got that pl wow. this place wrong, did I? Usually I'm pretty good at picking yeah. places, but I got this one wrong. I mean, I like a drink, but my God. There's just people absolutely wasted everywhere. They can hardly stand up. These uh, gangs of lads, aren't they? And they don't throw a bloody brick through windows. Well, I don't know whether it were a brick or whether they actually punched the glass. They were going to get CCTV, weren't they? Yeah. And uh, they don't know whether he's punched it with his hand or whether he's 
throwing a brick at it. Or she just shut the curtains and yeah, the she only crashed. she only just shut curtains at the pub and then it come through glass. Mm. So um, yeah, well you don't feel safe, do you? Really? No. Areas you like this. That. Oh, then when we come back to the van, uh, I'm a bit scared as it was. And it, it sounded like someone were knocking at the door. And my heart were racing. I thought, nah. It dogs didn't start no. barking, so I knew it weren't anybody at the door. You yeah. were one of the dogs having a good scratch and bang in cupboard, I think. Yeah. It sounded like yeah. somebody were knocking on the door. Freak you jumped out of your skin, then you? Yeah. Like, oh, my God. So... Um, he was one of the dogs having a scratch, I think, and it yeah, was just because it was scratch. Yeah, kicked off if there was something. I think it was Bruce banging kitchen door or something. Yeah. So, God. <laughs> made us jump though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh, here we go. Anyway, we can't move tonight, so let's hope we can get some sleep tonight and uh, hope there's no trouble. Luckily, I'm a good morning. sleeper, so. Yeah, just a really odd place. Hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, not coming back here again. No, no, I won't, I won't recommend. Uh, won't recommend it here, guys. To be honest, there's better places. You know mm. what I mean. So uh, not that we're snob, not that we're snobby at all. But I would like me more trouble in one piece. You know what I mean. <laughs> I, won't, I don't want have a brick on my head when it comes through the pub window. <laughs> I not mean that snobby. You know what I mean. <laughs> it would be good. <laughs> oh dear. Come on then. Oh, God, what a day. Eh? Yeah. See what happens in the morning, eh? Yeah. Anyway, let's hope we sleep okay, guys. <laughs> You'll soon find out. <laughs> okay, so Zoe's uh, gone to bed. I've stayed up quite late because uh, there's all been a lot of noise outside and uh, boy racers racing up and down the road and stuff like that. Lots of shouting going on and all sorts of stuff. But we can't move because I've had too much to drink. So it's my own fault. Uh, it does seem to have gone a little bit quieter now. So uh, so we'll see how it uh, goes for the rest of the night. Maybe we've just got Whitehaven on a bad night and it's not normally like this. Um, there is a, a lot of run-down shops and a lot of buildings that's just boarded up that we didn't film. Uh, we didn't film the, the gangs of teenagers hanging around and, and all the rest of it because it's not something you film, is it? So we didn't feel many of that, but uh, we felt a bit uh, uncomfortable right from off. Uh, and then as the night's gone on, then we've come across all uh, drunken idiots and, and all the rest of it. Uh, the people that we have spoke to have been very friendly with us. Uh, do you know what I mean? They say we don't, nobody's caused us personally any, any problems. They've all been quite friendly. Um, but I said to Zoe, there's been, I mean, they couldn't stand up a lot of them. So and I said to Zoe, there's going to be trouble here because it don't take much, does it, when when lads get that drunk, and women as well. There were some some women involved as well. I said it's all going to kick off this, uh, while they're having to hold each other up. Um, so whether this is just the norm for a Friday night, I don't I don't really know. And then obviously it progressed when somebody put glass through on pub. So um, don't know what all that were about. Um, but yeah, uh, when people do get that out of it and out of control, uh, you do worry for your motor home, don't you? And arguments break out between each other and all the rest of it, don't they? And stuff, so Zoe's been really anxious about it all. So it does seem to have gone quiet. Let's just hope everybody's tell me it now, half past one, half past one in the morning now. So uh, I'm just uh, staying up and I'm doing this vlog, something to do. So uh, I'll get this out for you, which will probably be out at seven o'clock. Um. Yeah, and we're gonna gonna uh, get up in the morning and uh, move on as soon as we can, and uh, we'll we're gonna move further up. We could have got a three and a half hour drive tomorrow because as always, really spooked and she really wants to get out of here. She wants to bypass Glasgow and get straight up to Scotland. So I think that's the plan tomorrow. So we'll get a full tank of fuel in the morning. And we'll we'll get off early doors and uh, get some travelling done tomorrow and uh, try and get where it's uh, maybe a little bit quieter. And uh, so we'll see. So, yeah, I won't, uh, it's put me off coming back here. There's not a lot to see anyway, to be honest. The harbour on the front's really nice, as you've seen. That's that's the best bit. It looks like they spent a bit of money there. Um, that's really nice. But there's not much on the front either, shop-wise. Do you know what I mean? 
So um, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a I won't say a strange place, but you know, a bit. It's just got a bad vibe, which I picked up on earlier. So anyway, we're going to get out of here, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Bye.